Oh, he mouse slipped. He mouse slipped. Oh my gosh. No, El oh, Jose. Wow, but, but they drew. And now there's going to be another game. Hey, wow. Mike Green, basketball commentator, he gave me a piece of it. Well, not me personally, but he shared a piece of advice. He said, you know, you don't want to talk too much in these big moments. Let the moment speak for itself. Let it breathe. I'm gathering my thoughts on what I want. I don't know what I want to say. I, I don't know what I think about this. It's an incredibly gracious um, move, figuratively and, and literally, by not moving uh, from Jose. But in a match situation, I don't think anybody would fault him for uh, grabbing the lady. Yeah, I mean, ooh, that's. <sighs> I but that's some. Class. I don't know. I mean, you gotta. You gotta applaud his class. But take the queen, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I agree. I agree. I mean, I mean, the thing is, it's one of those things where you have to hold two things in your mind at the same time. Um, yeah, you know, both things can it, be true. And, and by the way, in bullet, in bullet, that's a that's a queen. I mean, it's a that's it. That's the that's the game right there. So, yeah, Jose's a gentleman. Anybody who's watched him behave on and off the board knows that the guy is a classy guy. Uh, he handles things really well. He's had to handle a lot of. A lot of stuff, and he handles it with a tr tremendous amount of maturity and poise. Yes, uh, you know, I applaud. I'm the first to applaud that. I would have taken that queen faster than uh, you could say queen d3, or faster than you can say mouse slip. Um, and in a match situation, I don't think anybody faults you as the underdog for you know exploiting any opportunities that you have. But that's kind of where I see. I think we're in agreement in general. Both, yeah, both things can be true. That's life. You know, right now life is, uh, and, the, and the world is not full of nuances. You don't have a case where you no. understand both sides, but I do understand. I understand taking the queen. I understand giving the draw. But, whew, that's a, that's a sigh of relief. Hikaru could have been tilted and only up one game. That would have been crazy. Yeah, yeah. Why are we, people, why are we talking about this for so long? Well, because it's a big moment. Because if Jose takes the queen there, First of all, they would have gotten another game, and it would have been back to a two-point lead. The difference is massive. This could be deciding. This could be decisive. Now, Jose is better again, which I should stop saying because it's enough to say that this is a Scandi. Can he go for some tactics here? Try to get yeah. this bishop to f4. You know, it's very counterintuitive. Like, obviously, dc is very natural, but I was thinking even d5 is nice. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like this way with knight b5 ideas, queen f3, bishop f4. Obviously, there's bishop g4. Got to do it the right way. But there's also f3, g4. There's so many plans that look good for white. It's actually kind of infuriating that you have to choose one. Yeah, it's like the famous uh, Mikhail Tall quote. You know, I sack... I can sack multiple pieces, but my opponent's something like... My opponent can only was, take one piece at a time. Was there knight b5? Are you kidding me? Oh, my... God. Oh my god, there was! And it won the game. What? And the crazy thing is that the queen wow. moves away, you have bishop f4. If black tries to bail out, even after he does, the knight is, well, essentially bishop f4 is still crushing. Insanity. Oh Jose misses it with four minutes on the clock. So does Hikaru! Yeah, but he's, white is still much better. Much, much, much better here. Wow! Can you imagine if the last game ended with a win and Jose won with knight b5? It's 4-4! Four and a half, four and a half, rather. Oh crap! Yeah, it's it's currently a two point lead only. Wow. No wait. Why did I think it was a three point lead? Oh, it would have wow. it, it, it would have it would have been four four because uh, they drew the last game. But yeah, wow. I mean, mm -hmm. just. Whew. See, in my mind, I I'd already counted the last game for Hikaru, so I assumed okay, it's a three point lead. No, the last game was the mouse slip game. No, but Jose has fantastic winning chances here. Much more active position. Black's king is much weaker. And uh, why is he winning here? Some sort of rook c4, g4 it's, maybe. I think that what people need to understand about these eval bar situations, it's not always the case that there's a forced win. Often there's something concrete, but it could just be a product of the fact that Black's pieces are so awkward. They're tripping on each other. g4 is always kind of in the air. 
And this knight is anything but stable. It's sort of a false sense of security that these pieces provide. I was looking oh, what's up? Like, I was just looking at queen c3, which was really stupid because of rook takes d5. But there's always there there's always that you know looming uh, stupidity there. Why is Jose not playing g4, man? He's got a. He's shooting himself in the foot here, um, massively. I mean, you I, the rook on d4 is the best piece on the board. You take you get it and you trade it for a piece on c8 that's not doing anything. It makes no sense, and he's letting Hikaru off the hook here. Yeah, queen c4. Still Maybe. better for white. Queen d4. Fork yeah, the pawn. Centralize. Centralize. What? Wow. Now, Hikaru, no, Hikaru's not happy with how he's playing, but, you know, Jose at some point has to put his foot down and say, I'm going to I'm gonna make you keep it tighter here. But why not play, I mean, queen d4, defense of two, and attacks two pawns at the same time? Like, did he not see it? <laughs> this is what I, I don't know. I, Jose is, is baffling me at the moment. Watch out, rook a5, and there's suddenly a mate threat on the other end with rook a1. And that's not a gimmick. Rook a1 is actually very hard to stop. Queen a5 is the more immediate threat. How quickly did that rook go from the biggest weakness to the biggest strength? Jose has to play c3. Mm -hmm. The knight finally redirects to a safe square, and, and the position is equal. Do you play b4? Rook d1, I mean, g3. Rook d1, F3. queen h2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, it's not in fashion to take free pawns, though. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, you need to four, maybe. Okay, bishop e three, of course. Yeah. This is this is still hanging on the edge very much. Maybe h three, g three. Try to. Has has Igar stopped shaking his head at any point in this match? Yeah, it, it's two unhappy guys playing chess. That's the motto of this a match. Perpetual, perpetual motion machine. <laughs> but both players, really. <laughs> it's like if one player isn't shaking his head, the other one is. Okay, now who's Just wait. I'm still giving it a couple seconds before before we see on camera either one of them start shaking his head. Just, just yeah. Give it a few moves. I'm waiting. I'm patiently watching. But Hikaru does have a nice position ultimately at this point. Now he can start taking over with f5, e5. I think Jose will look at his clock and start shaking his head. He's going to go wide-eyed and be like, that's what he's going to do. That's the... Uh, very. Uh, okay, now they've gone motionless in the moment I said that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, they're, they're leaning in. They're both very focused, but someone will show that they are unhappy with the developments quite soon. Ah, uh, no, he's just <laughs> in his face. Okay. So far, he's just scratching his face. Okay, rook b5. Yeah, you, you jinxed it, man. Now they're not going to move I it know. again. Ever, yeah. No, 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 it'll happen sometime this game. <laughs> just flubbed it. Just to totally flubbed it. Just completely flubbed it, chat. a5. Ooh! Ooh, bishop c5 arresting the rook. But how does that work? a takes b4. No, that's a tough... That's a weird move. And I guess just c4, Levian. Queen could have trapped the rook yeah. from c4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen c4. Okay. <laughs> Hikaru did a typical, like, you know, Hik Hikaru just kind of shrugging about the position. Not unhappy. But I don't know how you make progress here with white. Black's just, I mean, you haven't moved your rook. Yeah, this has suddenly turned into a... The pace of the game has been extremely slow in this later middle game phase, and we've had an arc like this before. Queen's traded, we've had Rook and Bishop versus Rook and Knight. Jose yep. almost won that. That was one of the first games. Seems like it happened in the 19th century. Uh, but Jose needs some of that 19th century chess spirit. Maybe keep the Queens on the board. Go Queen A4. Gotta take I, would play, I would play B3 here. How's that for a move? B3, trading on your own terms. Yeah, trying to play about that. BC4 and like King C2 and Rook A1. I don't know. It looked cool. Knight F5. Oh, yeah, maybe you have to borrow. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say maybe you move your Rook to defend the Bishop, but Jose is probably worried about losing uh, H2, so he moves his Bishop instead. He's just playing a Rook down, by the way. He hasn't moved his Rook a single time. Yeah, that Rook really wants to participate, but it appears uh, it has no Jose in the matter. Where does the queen go? Does you do you go e5, or do you play I, queen I, e6 hitting these I does. 
I does go e5. Let's let's do it. I does. <laughs> Sign uh, me up. Uh, I think Hikaru just raised his hands in exasperation. Keep in mind, we would not have spent another like 10 to 15, 12 minutes on this game if the mouse slip had not happened. So it's kind of wild. They uh, got a buzzer beater yeah. game in and get to exhaust each other a bit more. Oh, someone's got to lose this position. It's very, very imbalanced. Game. This is a huge game. I mean, such a confidence boost if Jose can win, but he feels like he's slipping. B3, maybe time for uh, your yeah. idea? Yeah, but, but, but my idea was not lock my queen on the other side of the board, but <laughs> B3 knight E4 is losing, isn't it? B6, I, I wow. thought so too. Because Larry Queen C, Rook C4. I think Rook C4 might have might have been blundered here. Yeah, that is a Hikaru yeah. move, but he might call Knight the bluff. What's wrong? Though. What's wrong with Queen B6? Nothing. Bishop E3, maybe. Oh, Queen A5, Queen F. Oh, no, he blundered his bishop. What? Queen C5? He thought he had something? Whoa. There's like okay. Queen F4 and stuff. Rook oh, a4. Course. Sleek move, but rook c1, you can't play. That square is defended too. Check. Jose's, take the knight. Jose's going to flag. King a1. Where's the mate? Queen c6. What a move. King b1. Got to get out of there. Oh my gosh. He almost. Oh! e3. Oh and no, it's over. I2. Yeah, that's it. And he wins.